Next is irrational numbers. The numbers which cannot be written in the form of p by q and q not equal to 0 are called irrational numbers. For example, root 2, root 3, all these are irrational numbers. Now let us discuss about the operations of irrational numbers. Sum of two rational numbers are always rational. Similarly, the difference of two rational numbers are also always rational. But we that sum and difference of two irrational numbers are sometimes rational and sometimes irrational. For example, if root 3 and minus root 3, these are the two different irrational numbers. When we add these two roots, two irrational numbers, we see that the result is 0, which is a rational number. That is root 3 plus minus root 3 is equal to 0. That is a rational number. But if root 2 is added with root 5, the result remains the same, which is irrational. Therefore, it concludes that sum and difference of two irrational numbers are sometimes rational and sometimes irrational. Similarly, the product of two irrational numbers are also sometimes rational and sometimes irrational. For example, root 12 and root 3 are two different irrational numbers. When we take the product of this two, the result is root 36. That is equal to 6, which is a rational number. But if we see root 3 and root 4, the product of root 3 and root 4 is root 12, which is an irrational number. Therefore, product of two irrational numbers is also sometimes rational and sometimes irrational. Now let us discuss how to locate an irrational number on the number line. In your previous class, classes, you have studied how to represent root 2 or root 5 on the number line. Now I will explain you how to locate root 13 on the number line. Step 1. Write the given natural number as the sum of the squares of two natural numbers. Say A and B. Here 13 is equal to 9 plus 4 that is 3 square plus 2 square. So we take a as 3 and b as 2. Step 2. Take the length equal to these two natural numbers on the number line. Take 3 units on the number line. Let it be OA. Now at point A draw a line perpendicular to OA. Now mark 2 units that is AB. So here we see that OA is of 3 units and AB perpendicular to OA is of 2 units. Now OAB becomes a right triangle. Therefore by Pythagoras theorem OB square is equal to OA square plus AB square. So OB square is equal to 3 square plus 2 square. So that is equal to 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. So we got OB square is equal to 13. Therefore, OB is equal to root 30. Now, taking OB as the radius and O as the center, draw an arc which intersects the number line at point C. Therefore, OC is equal to root 13. Next is real numbers. The collection of both rational and irrational numbers are known as real numbers. They are denoted by capital R. Here we see that all rational numbers are real numbers. Similarly, all irrational numbers are also real numbers. Now let us start with exercise 1.2. The first question is, state whether the following statements are true or false. Justify your answer. First part of the question is, every irrational number is a real number. That is true. Since real numbers consist of rational and irrational numbers, therefore every irrational number is a real number. 
The second part of the question is every point on the number line of the form root m where m is a natural number. Every point on the number line is of the form root m where m is a natural number. That is false because negative integers cannot be expressed as the square root of any natural number. Next part of the question is every real number is an irrational number. That is again false because real number includes both rational and irrational numbers. So every real number cannot be an irrational number. But as we discussed in the first part, every irrational number is a real number. Second question is are the square roots of all positive integers irrational? If not, give an example of the square root of a number that is a rational number. Square roots of all square numbers are rational. For example, root 4 is equal to 2, root 9 is equal to 3. Therefore, the square roots of all positive integers are not rational. But square roots of all square numbers are rational. Our next question is show how root 5 can be represented on the number line. I think all of you are familiar with this. Now let us write 5 is equal to 2 square plus 1 square. Therefore, taking 2 units on the number line that is OA is of 2 units and at point A We'll draw a line perpendicular to OA that is AB which is of one unit. Now we see that OAB is a right triangle. Now by Pythagoras theorem OB square is equal to OA square plus AB square. That is 2 square plus 1 square that is equal to 5. Therefore OB square is equal to 5 implies that OB is equal to root 5. Now with OB as radius and O as center, we will draw an arc which intersects the number line at point C. Therefore OC is equal to root 5. 